Hayden, thanks so much. Many soybean farmers across the state could be forced out of business this year. Fox 16 Susan L. Corey joins us in the studio tonight with why some say a damaged harvest and record low prices are to blame. What can you tell us, Susan? Well, Stephanie, farming can be a gamble, but some farmers who hedge their bets on the soybean crop say they're not getting any return. Even though it's just the middle of harvest, one farmer tells me things are looking so bad he might be out of a job. Working overtime without the added pay. Throwing money out the window, really. Farming isn't what it used to be for Tyler Henderson. See how you have some beans that have started to mold in the pods? There's no steering around the problems. His England soybean fields aren't raking in a good harvest after being damaged by rain. We're definitely giving this crop away, and they're talking about docking us a dollar just on 2 to 3 percent damage. On top of that, Henderson says the market price of beans took a steep drop. Bean prices were probably 15 to 17 dollars, and now we're looking at 860. Leaving him afraid he'll end the year in the red. Praying for a miracle, I don't, but I think everyone's going to take a loss this year. Instead of selling low, Henderson is stocking up. Uh, these first couple of bins are full of rice. Using grain bins to store this soybean harvest. I've never stored beans before. That's how bad it is. Hoping to mix it with the late harvest if there's less damage. You can work every day, but in the end, you can't control the economy or Mother Nature, and it, it's, it's high stakes gambling. Without any guarantees, this sixth generation farmer is changing his view. It's something I wanted to pass down to my kids. I'm a sixth generation farmer, and you know, it's just not looking good for any of us right now. I wouldn't be doing them any favors putting them in. If Henderson tells me right. another factor in all of this is the ongoing trade dispute between China and the U.S., which is also dragging the price of soybeans down. Federal lawmakers did just ask the USDA for emergency help for farmers feeling those effects. Back to you.